Hey guys, so what a game needs to survive is new players. That is the key to every game. You gotta get new players. Without new players, your game is literally dying. If you're not expanding, you are stagnant and therefore dying. So Universe Beyond, I was probably not a big fan of it when it first came out. It seemed a little bit campy, if you will. Something that they... Why, uh, my opinion was like, why do you not work on your own IP? Why are you working on, you know, with other people's IP? But it turned out to be actually ideal because Hasbro is actually uh, a company that already has that connection. Um, they do Power Rangers, they do My Little Pony, they do different versions of Monopoly. Like I saw a Naruto Monopoly in the mall today. And they are very, very good at licensing. So that's what their specialty is. So instead of spending all this money on their own IP, they decided, hey, I'm going to spend all this money on other people's IP just to pay for the license. And they got Final Fantasy. I think Marvel's coming. It reminds me a lot of a Japanese game called Weiss. Weiss, in my opinion, is a very unpopular because of game mechanics. and But it still has value. The cards still have tremendous value. And in terms of why do cards have that much value, it's because the IP is popular. You know, these IPs and these SPs that aren't even real signatures. They are fake signatures, if you can believe it, right? Are worth a ton, a ton of money. Again, these are fake signatures. So it's kind of interesting to think about that from the stance of, you know, from the stance of, okay, why something valuable? Why something not valuable? So that's basically Weiss in a nutshell. Um, in my opinion, it's very, very heavily based on, you know, it's very, very heavily based on whether or not the IP is popular or not popular at the time. So beyond uh, Weiss and, you know, understanding Weiss, Magic the Gathering has gone down the route of Weiss. That being said, uh, there are new players. There are people who are interested in this game. In long term, I think Magic will still be alive for 5-10 years because of Universe Beyond, assuming they get the right IPs. That being said, it's a, it's a different business model, right? Magic for 30 years has focused on its own IP, Planeswalkers and so on. They were supposed to get a Netflix show. They were supposed to get a Netflix anime. You know, all these things. I think Nicolas Cage was supposed to be in, in the Netflix movie or in a movie. And Brian Singer of X-Men fame was supposed to be the director. They had, like, big announcements. This wasn't, like, just, like, random stuff. There were actual announcements of all this. And, you know, and then you look at it today and you're just like, you know what? Um, none of that actually happened. Uh, none of it actually, you know, happened. So that's kind of strange, um, you would imagine, right? So beyond, um, you know this issue and i think it's a pretty pretty big issue um you have uh, a scenario which is quite uh bizarre as long as they can continue with other people's ips they will do incredibly well uh, when they run out of ips they could be in some danger right and danger is that they have to rely on their own ip which is a little scary, probably a little scary for them, I assume. And you know, a lot of the problems with relying on other people's IP is what if they don't give it to you? What if they say, you know, we don't want to work with you, we're going to work with MetaZoo, Sanrio, right? This is a interesting thing because it, it shows people that you need to think a little differently and, and rightfully so. I mean, they made the right choice. I thought it was the wrong choice. I'll be the first one to say, I thought it was a stupid choice at the time. I, I think, you know, you always want to own your own IP. You always want to own your own planeswalkers and such. Uh, but they decided that it was just better go here. And the whole, you know, it's not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. It turned out that actually worked out perfectly for them. You know, surprising, uh, surprising, Everybody, it worked out exactly the way that it should have worked out. Um, and in all honesty, like, you know, it's not for you. If it's not for you, don't buy it. Wait for something that is for you. 
and that something that is for you will happen pretty pretty soon, I think. And you can just buy that. So for me, Assassin's Creed, I, I bought some Fallout just to open for fun. Uh, but Assassin's Creed, right? Uh, I mean, maybe. Uh, may maybe it's a fun set. But I'm definitely going to save my money. Um, I'm definitely going to save my money for Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy. I think Final Fantasy is great. And I hope that uh, it is as good as this set. It has done... Um, no, it has done really, really well. Uh, the whole idea of the universe beyond. They have done much. They have exceeded all my expectations as to like what they can actually do. And how many people, how many new players buy the game. And the game is continuing to grow. You see people like Penguin Z and they're chasing serialized numbers. That, again, on Weiss, they have serialized numbers as well. So a lot of the tactics that, I don't want to say tactic, but like a lot of the ways that sports cards kind of promote cards, uh, they are promoting cards as well. So it is definitely fascinating and to see this actually happen in person. Uh, a, a business decision that has done no better than expected. I, I think Wizard of the Coast is even very probably very surprised that this has happened. So, yeah, uh, good good on them. I mean, this probably saved. To be honest with you, it probably saved Magic the Gathering because they were having a lot of problems. They were having a lot of problems, right, with uh, multiple people leaving the game, young people being interested in the game, and what e easier way to get people interested in the game than having an IP that they already enjoy and like. It makes uh, perfect sense to me, and I think they will should should and will continue to do it, right? Um, it's a very smart thing that they did. The cards look great. I'll probably buy some for EDH for, you know, these... Cards look pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, cards are. Too, I mean, wow, they they've impressed me from their business sense. Uh, I don't I don't know if you guys love Universe Beyond, but Universe Beyond is just cranking itself out, and it is exactly what uh, people wanted it to be, which is using magic, which is the best game, the best magic has the best mechanics of any game. It still does. I very much believe this but um using an ip magic is again probably one of the worst ips in terms of games i mean they just didn't really do a good job building their ip to be quite honest with you right um yeah and now they are they are here in a very very good position Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hi, guys.